Hey guys, Break here, and after my video yesterday when I talked about the more general ways you can be making gold in this new 735 patch, today I'm going to be talking about three new and pretty awesome ways that you can make quite a lot of gold after the 735 patch. These are ways that I either didn't really consider or no one really knew about until today. They are also, a few of them could be fixed and there could be some changes, so always make sure that they're still working. But for now, these three things are really, really cool, and let's get into them. The first way involves the lost mail item. Now, this is an item that drops on the stairs to Violet Hold in Dalaran, and it has a four-hour respawn. Only one person can get it on your server every four hours. Basically, it means it's very, very rare. This has been the only one on the auction house for the whole day, basically, and a lot of people have been selling these. Now, we didn't really know before that you could sell them. It's only recently come to most people's attention. They can be sold, they can be traded, and they can be sold on the auction house for quite a lot of gold. A lot of people on the WoW Economy subreddit have been selling these for at least 500k, 400k. I'd be happy to sell mine for four or 500. Uh, I've got it up for 600 just in case. And I actually bought this. There was one on the auction house at the start of the day for 200k, and I bought it, and uh, I'm trying to flip it. Haven't really been advertising trade much, but tonight I will do it more and hopefully we should see a sale. Now the awesome thing about this is if you buy one at a cheap price, you can then go and do the quest to get the cool new Postmaster stuff. So the Postmaster title, the Melly Mental Pet, and the new toy, which is like a portable mailbox toy for everyone. So those are all things that you can go and do when you get this item. And once you've done all that stuff, you'll get another one of these in the mail. So basically, you can get this for free if you buy it cheap, do all the stuff, and then you can sell it again for cheap. Or you can even do what I did and buy it cheap, go do all the stuff, get all the new title and pets, and then sell it for more. So not only can you make gold with this method, you can actually get a few cool things as well. Obviously, this is not going to be around forever. More and more people that find this and buy it and then go and complete it and then they have it again to go and uh, trade on the auction house. So it's likely to drop in price pretty quickly, but not super, super quick because, like I say, you can only get one per server and on these high pop servers, that has very few people actually getting them. So if you're on a decently sized server, you should be able to sell these for a pretty tasty amount of gold. As I say, I don't suggest trying to farm it. That's going to take you a long time. You can look up some guides if you want to go and farm it. But I think the best way is to try and pick it up cheaply. Go do it yourself to get the cool things and then sell it for more. But you can advertise in trade chat. You see here, want to sell lost mail item. Starts new quest for postmaster title, pet and toy. Not the best uh, advert to be honest. Could have done a lot better. But there you go. That is one thing that you can do. And yeah, you do get a lot of interest, as you can see, a lot of people wanting to know where it is, how you get it, and you will be able to sell it eventually. Anyway, that is the first thing. The next thing involves the Zulfarak Transmog Farm. Now, for those of you who watch my channel, you know I do not farm Transmog very much. I'm not big into farming. I even have multi-boxes, and I could run this on multi-boxes, and it's all personal loot now, and I would get a ton of gold but I just don't really like it. I probably will do this though because it's been buffed and it's pretty crazy at the moment. So two major things have happened. The first of all is that the drops in this dungeon have changed and there are now more drops than there ever were previously, including glorious gear and all sorts of cool stuff that didn't used to drop. Now, Zolfrat was my favorite transmog farm before all this. And it was a very good dungeon transmog farm before or any of this. Now you add on the new pieces that can drop and people are seeing crazy results like well over 100k, well over 500k an hour for a lot of people. And the reason for those crazy numbers is the second reason and that is that the dungeon is now dropping old Zolaman, I believe, Zolgarub pieces, something like that. So old unobtainable items have now started dropping from here, in particular these coins that you can get some rep with and all this weird stuff that never used to drop and wasn't available in the game until 735. It's now come back. Now this is likely to be a bug and it will probably be fixed soon, so 
If you do want to get in on this and try and make yourself some gold, then go ahead and do it. There's some people saying you'd be banned for doing this. You're not going to be banned, guys, at all. 100%, you're not going to be banned. Mostly because there's so many people doing it. Blizzard don't want to lose that many subscribers. Um, and also, all you're doing is farming a dungeon. So you're not going to get banned, but it is likely a bug. It might not even be a bug, but it's likely a bug, and things are going to be fixed sometime soon. But you just go through, you pull all the mobs, and you also kill the bosses, because they have a great chance of dropping these coins, which are going to drop massively in price, but they still do sell occasionally. I'm not that keen on the coins, to be honest, guys, and that's what's spiking the price crazily. But there's still all these new items that never drop from here, unobtainable items, and the way that Zulfrat was a good dungeon anyway, all combines to make it an awesome transmog farm, probably the best one there is at the moment, well definitely the best one there is right at this very moment. So you go through, kill all the ads, kill all the bosses, uh, kill the little graves, open up the graves and kill those, and see what you can get. Next up are the pets you get from killing these three rares in Silithus. Now Silithus has changed in 735, and there are three rares that now drop these cool pets. Let's see if we're going to get it. We don't get it. But anyway, these have a chance to drop these pets. Now, there are three of these pets, and you can find them in coordinates that I will link in the description below. But if you just look up the uh, Silithus pet, Silithid mini tank on Wowhead, in the comments section, as always, it does have the positions of these three battle pets. I'm sure the various add-ons will update with them. I haven't updated my add-ons in a while. Anyway, the pet is called the Silithid Mini Tank. And as you know, when a new pet comes out, it always sells for loads. And it's been selling for 100k, for 200k, for 50k. And the price is just going to keep going down, down, down till it's worth very little. So you can come and farm these. I don't know if you can get loot from them more than once a day. You probably can't, but I'm not certain. For most rares, you can't. And Wowhead certainly suggests that is the case. So only once a day per character, obviously. You can farm it on multiple characters. Quite a cool little sword you got there. These pets must have quite a short respawn timer because they've all been up when I came. I did not hang around for long. And I'm on a high pop server. They're usually dead. So they obviously have a short respawn timer. And we'll see if I can get a pet from the last one. Oh, look. I got the pet guys, so there you go. We will learn that and we will go and sell it on the auction house. You can sell it cross server if you think you'll get better price elsewhere. All I'm saying is these pets will be worth a pretty hefty amount as I say. People have been selling them for around 100k, they're now around 50k so it completely depends. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, these three things that are going to make you a pretty tasty amount of gold. Do check out the video I did yesterday, which is more general things that will make you gold in the longer term. And thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, see ya.